if you want to connect your workloads on GCP using SSH or RDP, but at the same time, you don't want to expose these to the public internet, then in general, you'll need to use VPN to achieve this. But then what if you don't have a VPN or if you don't want to use a VPN to do this? Or if you don't meet the requirements to set up a cloud VPN or interconnect connection, or if you just don't want to invest in any virtual network appliance to do a basic VPN connection, if I can say this is, is a classic example where you will need identity aware proxy, a GCP service that allows you to use identity and context together to determine if a user should be allowed to access to a specific service or an endpoint in GCP. In this video, I'm going to walk you through to demonstrate how to set up an identity aware proxy so that you can actually access uh, your virtual machines without having any external IP address. All right, so in this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up identity aware proxy in your Google Cloud project. So your users, if you're working in an organization, can actually access to a virtual machine without an external IP address. So let's go ahead and create a virtual machine. Just before recording this video, I actually created a virtual machine to keep it very simple. So if you are someone who are trying it on your personal Google Cloud project, probably might have seen an external IP address. So to delete this, there is a place where you can actually delete it. I'll select the instance name and go ahead and click the edit button. Scroll down to the network interface section and select this drop down. This is where uh, you actually find the external IP before address and select none. If you select ephemeral, you'll actually get an external IP address. So select none and go ahead and hit the save button. The next thing that you need to do is to create you know, uh, identity aware proxy. So let's go ahead and select the identity aware proxy. It should be under IAM and admin. And I selected this. If if this is the first this is the first time you're actually trying to create identity aware proxy through Google Cloud Console, you probably will see a prompt uh, asking you to enable identity aware proxy API. Go ahead and enable it. There should be a button that says enable API. Just hit the button. Once you hit the button, probably takes a couple of seconds and will land you into this page where it will show you applications and SSH and TCP resource. Since in this video, we're trying to show you how uh, you can SSH using identity aware proxy, I'm going to go ahead and select the SSH and TCP uh, policy uh, resources, which by default will pull all the instances that are up and running and will show you a list of them. So in, in my case, I have an instance, which is called instance one. I should have probably named it better, but yeah. I, should, I have instance one under uh, US Central 1A zone. And if you observe here, you actually see a warning flag of, under the configuration section. Go ahead and select the warning flag. It basically says not enough access to resources. So in this section, to copy the source IP range, which we will be using to create a new firewall rule. If you see, there's actually a button right here, which will actually take you to uh, creating a new firewall. I actually you know, opened this uh, tab right next to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new firewall rule. I will name this as firewall rule for GCP VM through IAP. I'm gonna select the default network. In your case, you should select the network in which this, this project exists or the, uh, the virtual machine exists keep the direction of traffic ingress, action on match allow, and you can play around with the target tags and specified service accounts. Just to keep it simple, I'm gonna select all instances in the network. At the source IPv4 ranger section, I actually copy the IP address from the identity aware prox instance. So go ahead and select. Just before say, uh, creating, I am actually trying to SSH it, so I need to enable the protocol TCP here. So I enabled the protocol TCP and went ahead and created it. So once this gets created, this warning flag should go away. There you go. So the warning flag went away. The next thing that we need to do is to select this instance here and add the principle to which you are trying to give access to this virtual machine through IAP. So in this case, I'm going to give this access to the user of mine who is an admin which who is who is within my domain and i actually added this user just before this video so i'm not going to add but i'll show you what i what you what you should be doing so add add the principal name here it should it can be a username or it can be an ad group under which there are a bunch of users 
And once you add that principle, go ahead and select the cloud IAP role, which is IAP secure tunnel user. So once you do these two things, go ahead and save it. In, in my case, I'm gonna cancel it because I already added it. So this is the user to which I am actually going to give access to this virtual machine through Identity Aware Proxy. So this is all good from, from uh, the Google Cloud Console perspective. Now uh, we need to test if this admin uh, under my Dunder Mifflin domain uh, can access without any external IP. Let's switch into the terminal. So I'm, I'm in my local machine right now. Uh, assuming this is the admin who is trying to access this virtual machine from their local machine. The admin is expected to log in before even accessing to this virtual machine. So if you are someone who are trying to test it or trying to access this virtual machine through IAP, go ahead and log in, uh, you know, uh, to log in to, to your Google Cloud portal. This is the command gcloud.init. It will basically give you a link that the link will, you know, bring you to a tab where you actually uh, give your credentials. Once you're done, you're authenticated. Since I have already done it, I'm the admin, so I've already done it, so I don't have to do it. So the next thing you, do, you need to do is to list down all the instances that are up and running. So I'm gonna do compute instances list because I need to know the name of the instance to SSH through IAP. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the instance name here. So the next thing that I need to do is Google Cloud. Uh, the command that you need to do to SSH is uh, gcloud compute, I believe it's instance name, and then you need to do tunnel through IAP, and then you should give the zone name, which is in this case US Central 1A. I'm going to go ahead and copy from the list above and paste it here just to make sure I don't have any spaces and I think they should look good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the compute. Looks like I missed something here. G cloud compute instances compute. Yeah, I think I should do G cloud compute SSH. There you go. This should create a tunnel through the IAP. And there you go, boom. I just logged in into my virtual machine without any external IP address, purely by setting up the identity aware proxy. If you know a better way of implementing the identity of a proxy for SSHing into a Linux virtual machine or a Windows virtual machine, please do let me know. I always welcome learning from you as well. So if you have any questions or any comments regarding this approach, uh, please drop your uh, comments into the comment section. If you found this video helpful and informative, please consider subscribing my channel. It will be very helpful and encouraging to me to make more and more videos like this. I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.